Hey there, how's it going? So this video is titled, Should We Fear God? And the age-old conception of God is that God is a very judgmental, stern uh, father figure looking down at humans, judging them, weighing them as to whether they are um, good or bad and thus going to go to heaven or hell. And that one must be afraid of God afraid of being punished and cast into the fiery lake of hell or whatever. And um, there's the concept of, of the fire and brimstone and that uh, God is someone who you don't want to be on his bad side. That uh, you have to be ever vigilant towards yourself. In, in making sure you're doing the right thing, that you're following the rules uh, correctly um, so that you will get in God's graces and uh, be uh, loved and ultimately end up in heaven. So that is kind of the, um, the furthest extreme of the concept that yes, you should fear God and, and that if you don't fear God, then you're not going to do the right thing. You're not doing the right thing, you're doing the wrong thing, and then you end up in hell and it's going to be a horrible, uh, painful, fiery place and you don't want to go there. So there is a alternate perspective, which is that this is complete and total rubbish, and that um, there's absolutely nothing to fear. Fear is completely an illusion that uh, um, God is, is completely and totally simply love, and um, therefore, you know, don't, don't worry about uh, whether you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing or whatever, because there is nothing to fear. That's just a, uh, um, you know, fear-based conception being projected onto the world. And so, uh, you know, don't think about fear, don't worry about fear, it doesn't matter. And my perspective is that these are both inaccurate, even though the second characterization is closer to the truth. So it isn't that we should fear God, but fear is that which separates us from God, and uh, moving closer to God, getting closer to love must necessarily involve facing our fears within. And so this idea that fear is just an illusion and there's nothing to fear, um, it, in my view, is not in touch with reality because fear, fear is the whole problem. That's, that's what uh, separated us from God. And that is why human beings on earth are resistant to love because there's fear in the way. And love causes you to feel, and it is not uh, discriminating, it causes you to feel whatever is within you. And we have fear within our souls, within our consciousness, quite simply. Our um, separation from all that is, from the divine, from source energy, from God, involved an experience of fear. Just think of childbirth. That's uh, that's not going to be a experience devoid of, of trauma and um, and difficulty and challenge and fear and what the hell is going on. Um, being ejected out into the this world of bright lights and all these weird looking faces shining down on you and everything. And uh, in, the, in the same way, then our separation from source, as best as I understand it, was um, an experience of, of difficulty and of fear, and to a great extent, then uh, we all denied that fear to some extent, and um, chose to get away from it, and, and run, run away from it, and keep, and keep on running, to some extent. And... So to a great extent, human beings are living their lives running from fear. And we have to turn ourselves around and go back in the other direction. 
And this running from fear within is what motivates people to such a great extent to do so many things that, that people do. Um, and fear is also the source of anger. And so when people are doing things acting out of anger, then there is, there is fear at the, uh, um, at the source of that anger. Anger is simply the flip side of fear. There is no anger without fear. And um, so I do believe that even though we don't need to fear God because, uh, because God is, is love and, and is, is non-judgmental and understands that this is all simply a process, this is all a learning experience of trying to figure things out, and that ultimately all souls are part of source energy and um, all souls are, are doing what they think is right in, in, uh, in their mind, even um, though uh, their minds may be incredibly twisted and so cause them to do very twisted things, but to them it makes sense. And so you just have this whole spectrum of, of different, um, different people, different individuals from those who are uh, closer to their original essence and, and thus closer to God in terms of being um, more open-hearted, more loving, more kind, more compassionate, uh, more empathetic towards others versus those who, who uh, cause people pain and don't, and don't care um, because they're disconnected from their own, their own heart center. And so those who are the most um, disconnected is because of fear within their souls that um, has been denied, repressed, and clamped down on, and thus caused them to um, shrink their being, to, to compress their being so that they aren't allowing themselves to be flowing free with the spontaneity of who they truly are, because there's, there's fear in the way, and they're denying it, running away from it, um, as we all are to some extent. And so facing fear must be an uh, element of the spiritual path of, of uh, getting closer to um, source and of coming to greater awareness and understanding of ourselves and what truly lies, lies within us and figuring out how, you know, how that fear is, is playing in our lives motivating us and causing us to do um, you know, crazy or, or unkind or unwise things. And learning to come to a greater awareness of when, when that fear is coming up and taking us over and causing us to um, you know, do things that in our right mind how it influences our decisions on a day-to-day -day basis, so especially in the realms of relationships and, and uh, dealing with uh, you know, things that come up in the course of relationships, various fears, and, and then reacting out of those fears and hurting people in the process and blah, blah, blah. So uh, you can get the idea, but the point being, in, in my view, then, then fear is not an illusion. I mean, you could say everything's an illusion. It's all, it's all not quite as it seems. But um, that doesn't mean that that fear does not exist. That it is not real in some way, and that it is not playing a major role in you know, people's lives and the, and the things that people do. And uh, so, f fear needs to be acknowledged as a part of the process, and um, and understood that is not to be um, judged for uh, you know, the fact that they are acting out of fear. Um, we all do this at some time to some extent, but um, certainly it is an act of compassion to recognize that, to understand that, and acknowledge that, that you know, when people are do th doing things that don't make sense and that, that uh, are hurtful and unkind and everything, that there is almost certainly fear at the source of that somewhere.
because, at least in my view, people's original true nature is of divine flowing love, and any time that anyone is not coming from that place, which unfortunately is a lot of the time here on Earth, um, then it is because fear is getting in the way, and that fear um, has fragmented and gotten twisted and um, now takes on many different forms, anger being basically just a way of dealing with fear, um, and jealousy, resentment, frustration, um, you know, you name it, so, uh, but the, the heart of it is, is just that kind of primal, primordial fear that um, is the source of du duality, and which ultimately fragmented out and, and um, created the separation which resulted in this universe that we know, and this world, you know, and, and everything that we see around us. That is, that is the fragmentation of oneness, was a result of fear. And so it's not that it's bad, it's not that it's wrong, it's just, it was just the experience to be had. And experiencing this world is, um, you know, fear goes along with it. Here I am in, in nature, in the wilderness, and it's just a part of the natural process. Animals eat each other, there's bears out here, there's forest fires, and, and uh, it's cold as hell in the middle of winter, and, and it's not all love and light and goodness and, you know, easy and, and, uh, and fun, but uh, it's just, you know, it's just part of, part of reality, part of the process of, of life here on Earth, so. So, uh, not even really a matter of should we fear God or not, because I believe that God is, is, is all loving and all embracing and, uh, and all accepting, and, and everything is allowed. Everything that, is, that has happened has, has happened because it is allowed to happen. Uh, but uh, we do need to face our choices, face the pain and hurt that we have caused others, and recognize uh, the truth of, of our souls, both the positive and the negative, both the loving and the unloving, and the fear and everything else um, that goes on within. And, uh, and so facing those fears within is absolutely essential in coming closer to God and to others watching. Take care. Namaste.